Hello. Good afternoon, guys. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi, teacher. Good afternoon, guys. Hi, teacher. Hi. Thanks for joining. How are you guys? It's all okay. Are you fine? Happy? Happy. I am just fine. I am. Please. I am sick. Oh, really? Well, it's all right, yeah. But I didn't connect yet. Oh, okay. Well, I hope you could you could feel better, right? You could feel better sooner. Uh, take some rest, right? Medicine, of course, and uh, I'm really sure that you will feel better. Thank you for joining. Uh, this is a class number eight. It's a pleasure to be with you again. I will start passing the attendance, right? Uh, well, yeah, I joined a little bit late, right? Because as I said, you know, in the, in the first classes, uh, I will be connecting, well, I will try to be right here on time. Perdona de mora, como lo había comentado en las primeras clases, ¿verdad? Pues yo vengo en camino cuando antes de esta clase. Y es verdad, antes que iniciáramos con el módulo, ¿verdad? Lo comentaba que venía acá a mi casa, pero se estaba la una a veces, ¿verdad? Pero es por el el trayecto, ¿verdad? Y claro, el tráfico, ¿verdad? A veces, entonces... Eso les comentaba, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes estuvieran al tanto y no dijeran, ¿verdad? Que era el, el imputado, ¿verdad? Igual ya, ya lo había comentado con las autoridades para que ustedes estuvieran al tanto, ¿verdad? Y ellos me dijeron, ¿verdad? Que estaba, que estaba bien, ¿verdad? Que estaba bien, que, pero que les comentara a ustedes. Entonces, se los había comunicado. Fue un minuto tarde, ¿verdad? Un minuto tarde. Thank you. Carlos Maya. Present teacher. Here, Carlos Guardado. Sí, yo. Daniel. Daniela. Present. Débora. Thank you. Débora. Eva. Hello, present teacher. Gabriela. Present. Hayley. Present. Jacqueline. Present. Jennifer Mejiva. Present teacher. Jennifer Torres. Jocelyn? Present. Okay. Jonathan? Present. Okay. Jose Vasquez? Present. Okay. Um, Karen? Present. Okay. Linda? Present. Ice Luisa? Present. Margarita. Present. Yep. Mariana. Present. Mayra. Present. Awesome. Melissa. Present teacher. Appreciate. Uh, Roxana. Present. Dancy. Present. And Jennifer Arevalo. Jennifer Arevalo, here's yet. And Jeremy. Present teacher. Thank you. I can see Daniel. Daniel, good afternoon. Present teacher. 
que... Que me ha sonido hace poquito, además de Daniel. Daniel. Solo para eh, verificar. Débora, vamos a pregar. En Jennifer Carroll. Eh, yeah, Carolina Arevalo. Ok, ella es Sam Pendiente. Bueno, let's begin. <laughs> Well, uh, remember, guys, that today we need to complete right uh, the third section, right? We finished the second week today, and you need to, you know, have everything, you know, completed, right? Section. Well, one, two, right? You complete that. You completed them in the last, well, last week, and today you have to complete right until section three and the meter. Don't forget. So if you haven't done the meter yet, remember you have until. Oh, by the way, I was I was trying to check this. Cero un. Mencionar lo siguiente. Ah, ok, eso es lo que quería verificar, lo, 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 lo temprano. Hicieron eh, el recordatorio, ¿verdad? Y se los hago a ustedes. Eh, no olviden que ese día, ¿verdad? El, bueno, coordinador, coordinadora, eh, el operativo, coordinador, coordinadora, va a estar tomando nota de la sección 3 y el examen de medio curso. Así es que por favor, no se los olvide de completar sección 3 y el, y el, el examen, ¿verdad? que es medio curso. Tienen a más tardar hasta las 2 p.m. Para realizar los ejercicios de la semana 2. Que espero que hayamos podido completar. Eh, vayamos, ¿verdad? Como decía ayer, decía ayer, no nos confiamos, hagámoslo con anticipación, porque se está tomando nota, ¿verdad? Cuando y no quiero que tenga, tenga ningún inconveniente. Igual, hagan saber ¿verdad? si hay, perdón, si ha habido algún, han tenido algún problema con la plataforma, con el examen, etcétera. Háganlo saber. Comenten a, pueden comentar a mí o directamente a una autoridad, ¿verdad? coordinador de inglés corporativo, para que les puedan, verdad, este, ayudar. I have question. Yo, eh, yo le quería preguntar, eh, ¿usted está en el grupo de WhatsApp? Sí, estoy. Uh, no me había dado cuenta porque en la mañana yo estuve haciendo el examen y me estaba dando problemas una parte, eh, pero ya lo oh. pude resolver. Eh, solo que me daba pena preguntar, ¿verdad? Porque ese yo sentía que era examen y no nos podíamos estar ayudando, pero gracias a Dios siempre hay alguien que nos eche la mano, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Y de hecho, de, con, con respecto a eso, ¿verdad? Quiero eh, les, eh, en general, ¿verdad? Disculpa si posiblemente no les contesto en el momento. A veces eh, es porque quizás para, eh, pues estoy en, en, en una clase, etcétera. Por eso no les puedo responder, ¿verdad? Pero eh, hago lo posible. Igual ahí, ¿verdad? Les agradezco mucho a, a los compañeros que, que están este, atentos, ¿verdad? Y, y ayudan a sus más compañeros, ¿verdad? Así es que eso es muy bueno, que se ayuden entre, entre ustedes también, ¿verdad? No es solamente facilitador y participante, ¿verdad? Sino que también hay esa interacción. Así que les agradezco mucho. Eh, en lo personal, ¿verdad? Eh, me gusta bastante el grupo porque se ayudan entre ustedes, ¿verdad? De eso se trata, no solamente la interacción conmigo, ¿verdad? Sino que también con sus compañeros. Y para las disculpas del caso, si no le, ¿verdad? No le pude responder temprano, eh, pues me toca, ¿verdad?, ir a, a la carrera, ¿verdad?, a veces, entonces, pero igual, eh, lo puede, ¿verdad?, a veces, también lo que pueden hacer, ¿verdad?, es, si gustan, pueden preguntar ¿verdad? de forma personal, con gusto, ¿verdad?, no tengan pena. Y, me, bueno, me alegro que haya podido solucionar, ¿verdad?, el, el pequeño inconveniente. ¿Alguien sí, más? Que que tiene Gracias. Perdón. Excelente. 
Creo que más tenía alguna duda, pregunta. Sí, pero, eh, ¿Verdad que cuando ya estamos está preguntando de, de los diferentes tipos de vestuario, ahí ya terminó el examen? Sí. Eh, se refiere al último, a la última parte, última sección del examen. Uh -huh. la, la sección H. No. Si yo me quedé donde aparecen las imágenes de que son los tipos de vestuario para que sí, ¿no? Y eso mm. no lo hemos visto aún. Creo que es de la otra sección, si no me equivoco. Uh -huh. Creo que es de la sección. Sí, continúa. Creo que es de, de, de la sección 4, la, que vale, exacto. Ya, ya es, esa es ya la, la sección 4. ¿Quién me está preguntando? Ah, perdón. Jeremy, eh, ¿verdad? perdón. Sí. Ok. Y eso de la sección 4 ya, ya es lo de la próxima semana. Ah, ok. Pero se, puede, pero se puede avanzar. No se preocupe. Si avanzó, excelente. Siga. Si desea avanzar, ah. claro. Siga. Okay, si gracias. desea esperar, se verdad. Perfecto. Uy. Permítame. Gracias. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Somebody else? Can you mention it? Sure. Teacher, uh, for today, para, para hoy, eh, hay que finalizar eh, la número tres. Yes, no, en the midterm. En the midterm. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Módulo tres, sería módulo tres, ¿verdad? Sección tres, sección tres. Sección tres, perdón. Ok. Sí. Va, ok. Perfecto. La sección tres, ¿verdad? Solo menciono eso y, y vamos a iniciar con la... Igual, si alguien tiene dudas, preguntas, me las hace saber. Empezamos con la clase. Sección 3 y el examen que se hace, ¿verdad? Mister, que es el ayer, lo vamos a hacer para, para tener que hacer con esto ahora, ¿verdad? Eh, hasta, bueno, eh, por lo general, ¿verdad? Les, les mencionan o se les pide, ¿verdad? Que lo completen antes de las 2, antes de la clase. Es que no nos confiemos, no nos confiemos. Y mi recomendación es esa, ¿verdad? Que ustedes puedan completar. Eh, antes, ¿verdad? yo sé que a veces se hace bien difícil, probablemente por yo sé que estamos muy ocupados, muy ocupados, muchas cositas, ¿verdad? Pero hay que organizar nuestro tiempo y poder este, desarrollar las actividades que se, se nos han asignado. ¿okay? La próxima semana vamos a, a, a iniciar con la sección 4, ¿verdad? Esa sería durante toda la semana, sección 4, y nos quedaríamos pues, ya con la sección 5 hasta la última semana. Here. Questions? Alguien más? No. No, teacher. No question, teacher. Thanks. Okay, Yo guys. Tengo una pregunta. <laughs> Perdón. Yeah, I have a question. Este, ya pasó asistencia que dice que yo entré a la una con... 10 minutos porque tenía problemas, entonces oh. no sé si ya pasó lista. They were right. Sí. sí, ahorita, bueno, lo voy a leer ahorita. Se me hacía falta. You're welcome. And me hace falta Jennifer Arevalo. Vamos a por acá. Ok, let's start, guys. Eh, this is class number eight. Today we complete the second week, right? Class eight, th today is Thursday, July 14th. The topic for today will be numbers, edges, and adjectives. Adjectives, right? Numbers, edges, and adjectives. Okay. Please don't forget to use the cameras. Don't forget to use the cameras. Let's start with the numbers. Let's recognize the numbers from one to 100. One to 100, okay? And I would like you to first, I would like you to listen to me first, please. Listen to me. I will, you know, uh, say the numbers one by one and you will help me later, right? Listen first, listen first. 
These are the numbers from one to 100. Of course, we don't have enough, all of them over here, but I will explain why. Okay, let's go. Listen, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, six, seven, Eight, eight, fifteen. 15, 16, 16, 16, 17, 17, 19, sorry, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20, 20. We can say 20, 20 or we can say 20, right? 20 or 20. I okay. prefer 20. I prefer 20. My case, I prefer. It's up to you. 20 or 20. All right. Those are, you know, the numbers from 1 to 20. 1 to 20. All right. One more time. Listen. 1, 2, yeah, two. Three. 3, 3, 4, four. four. 5. Five, six, seven, seven, eight, 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 nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirteen. 13, 13, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20. 20. Yes, very good. Numbers from 1 to 20. 1 to 20. From 1 to 20. Okay. That is the way. That is the way. And then we have the numbers from, you know, let's say 21 to 100. Why we have just, you know, 20, you know, 30, 40? It's because we follow the same, the same pattern. We follow the same pattern. With, you know, next numbers, right? Basically, we have this, right? We have this. You say, right, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And then we say 30, right? 30, 30, okay? Listen to the numbers first. 20, 20, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 40, 40, 40, 40, 50, 50, 60, 60, 60, 70, 70, or we can say 70. 70, 70, 80, 80, 80, 80, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 100, 100, 100, 100, yes, exactly, exactly. And then we start right saying, you know, the numbers again. I mean, you know, come here. 
this is the way, you know, we start saying the numbers uh, from 20 to 100, right? We say uh, 20, 20, and then we 20. go like, and then 21. we go, we go like 21. 20, 21, 21, 21, 22, 22, right? We go like, like this, right? Oops. 23. 23. Right? I'll do something. It's easy. Okay, 23. We say uh, 24, right? 24. Then we say 25. Uh, 26. Twenty six. Uh, then we continue with twenty seven, twenty eight, and twenty nine. Right, twenty nine. And then we we get right thirty, 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 thirty. And we start again, right? We go on, on, on the same in the same way. We go 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, right? 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. 46, 47, 48, 49. Then we go 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 67, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, and 100, 100, 100, okay, one, numbers from 1 to 100, 1 to 100, questions? Y para, y para decir 101 sería 101. 101. 101. Uh, hay que um, um. Mm, you can say 101. 101. It's okay. Yeah. Bueno, thank you. Es que esa pregunta yeah. también se la iba a hacer, teacher, porque en el ejercicio de que uno se tenía que grabar en Búscaro, decía que usted tenía que pronunciar 101, 102. No sé si será correcto o cómo es la forma que la podamos usar. That, 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 is, that is a way. That is a way. 101, right? 
101. However, you can say 101. It's okay. It's okay. 101, right? In some cases, we say, we say uh, 100. Let me see, 100. Um, oh, sorry, sorry, no, it's the other one, right? right. One, we say 01, right? 01. 101, right? But but you refer to number, right? Number by number. Acá es cuando decimos, eh, es el válido también. Número, decimos cada número, 101. It's possible to. Eh, in English, we tend to see uh, the zero, we tend to say O. Oh, but it's an, a way, right? We can say, we can say zero, or we can say, you know, O, right? Most of the times when we give phone numbers, we tend to use O, O, right? Cuando dan su número de teléfono en inglés, utilizamos O, que todo. Ah, personas con las otras utilizan zero, pero el más común es O, ¿verdad? Esa es la forma, O. Teacher. Yep. Siempre que usemos one under, siempre va a ir a cuando vaya con otro número, cualquiera. Yep, yep, be 101, 102, 103. But, but eh, you know, when you have, for example, this one, you say 120, right? 120. You know, you can say 100, 120, right? 20. That is a way. That is a way. You can say 120. It's okay. 120. Without N, right? Without N. So the two ways are good. The best way is this one, 120. 120, sorry. But you can say 120. It's okay. Las dos formas son válidas. Cuando utilizamos N, por ejemplo, lo, lo, lo agregamos, lo agregamos a bien. Pueden decirlo así, 120. Questions? Hey, Chancy, did, uh, did I answer your question? No, solamente. Estamos bien, okay. gracias. Nice. Okay, now with the numbers, you know, I think I'm going to repeat the numbers again. But you know, I would just focus on these ones, right? Just remember that we go right on that way. One at 21, 22, 23, 24, with all the numbers, right? All the numbers. Vamos a repetirlos nuevamente, pero luego vamos a enfocarnos en eso, ¿verdad? Si no, no va a dar bastante tiempo si vamos con todo, ¿verdad? Okay. One, two, three, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 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 eleven, twelve, thirteen, listen, thirteen, 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 fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Ready? Ready? 40, 40, 50, 50, 60, 60. 70, 70, 80, 80, 90, 90, 100, 100, 100, okay? Now with the numbers, with the numbers, we can ask, right? Different things, different things, right? For example, the most common is, how old are you? 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 I am 26 years old, right? I am, well, 
I, now, right now, I'm, I'm 27, right? I'm 27 years old. I'm 27 years old, right? That is my case. That is my case. I'm 27 years old, right? I can ask you, right? I can ask you. I can select you, and you can help me. I will ask you, you know, this question, and we're going to use the number, right? For example, Jonathan, how old are you? How old are you? Uh, I am 29 years old. Oh, okay. Thanks. Thank you. Let me see. Um, Jocelyn, how old are you? I am 20 years old. I'm sorry, Jocelyn. again. Jocelyn, Jocelyn. I am 24 years old. Oh, okay. Nice. Thank you. Jacqueline, I'm sorry. Yeah. How old are you, Jacqueline? How old are I you? I am 54 years old. Okay. Repeat again. I am 34. 34. 34. I am 34. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Jose, how old are you, Jose? I am 26 years old. All right. Nice. Jose? Mm. Mariana, how old are you? I am 22 years old. Carlos Amaya, how old are you? Carlos Amaya, how old are you? Can you hear me? Well, I guess he's having some issues. Yeah? No. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, I don't have a question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, the question is, I'm sorry. The question is, how old are you, Carlos? How old are you? Excuse me, can you repeat again? Please. How uh, Yeah, uh, uh, very, very nice. Very, very nice. Yes, sir. So, did you say 39? Yeah, I am. ¿Cuántos años tengo? Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. 39 years old. Es, ah, ok. Ya escuché cuántos años, cuántos años tengo. Perdón si no me si escuché mal. Te... Ya, yeah, no. that is, that, that is way, Carlos. That is way. Very nice. You say okay. 39, right? 39. Yes, 39. Ya estamos viejitos. <laughs> no, 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 yet. No, yet, no, yet. No, yet. You're John. You're John. You're John. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the, old, the old school. <laughs> yeah, of course. Thank you. Okay. Nice. Uh, Jennifer Torres, how old are you? I am 23 years old. Thank you. Let me try with um, Karen. How old are you, Karen? How old are you? I am 26 years old. Okay. Roxana, how old are you, Roxana? I am thirty years old. Okay. Repeat again. Thirty. 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 Okay. Thirty. Okay. Thirty. 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 Okay. Thirty. What you What you do? Let Let me explain. What you do uh, with this? When it When we use or oh, when we have thirty or thirteen. Those uh, specific numbers uh, tend to be difficult, right, for us. Esos dos números tienen que ser easy la la pronunciación, verdad? Tenemos que confundirnos. What you need to do is this: you need to put your tongue between your teeth, like this, right, teeth, right, and you have to make the sound, right? Thirty, thirty. Debe de poner su lengua entre sus dientes para hacer ese ese sonido, verdad? 
Yes. Okay. Right. Yeah. Practice. Practice. No worries. Practice. Thank you. Uh, Jeremy, how are you? Twenty uh, nine. Okay. I am twenty nine. I do all. Yes. Exactly. Very good. Thank you. All right. So well, that's you know one question, right? One question. How are you? Right. We use numbers. Right. We express our ages, our ages, right? We express our ages, ages. I'm 27 years old, I'm 52 years old, etc. Yeah. Now, let me ask you for your phone number, right? What is your phone number? What's your phone number? Listen, my phone number is 6015, Two, three, eight, five. All right. In English, we tend to give the phone numbers like this, right? We go number by number. However, there are some people that, you know, mm -hmm. they combine the numbers, right? As we do in Spanish, right? In English, I still lose number of telephone, right? Number for number. Se va número por número. Number for number. Number 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 my phone number is 60, 60, sorry, 15, 23, 85. That can be a way. But it's, you know, the most common is that one, right? When we when you go number by number, the most common is, pardon, pardon, the numero, por numero, el numero por numero. Eso sería más común. Así lo, lo expresan, lo expresan, ¿verdad? Los nativos, eh, los hablantes del de, idioma, ¿verdad? My phone number is 601. Five two three eight five. Even if you listen to some conversations, right, you will listen to that, right? They say number by uh, number by number, but in some cases, you know, they combine the numbers. Okay, what's your phone number? My phone number is six zero one five eight two three eight five. What about yours? What's your phone number? Lisa? My, mi número. Yes, yes. Mi número es 70, um, no, 7, 8, 4, 8, 4, 6, 9, 4. Okay. Nice. Thank you. What's your phone number, uh, Daniel? What's your phone number? My number is seven four five zero eight four five one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Just give sure. me a second, guys. Yes, tell me. <clears throat> sure. My my number the my number cell phone is. Uh, uh, seven six seven six uh, nine oh uh, three four. Okay, good. Remember my phone number. My phone number is. Oh, okay. My, my phone number. Phone number it. is. Yes. It's. Oh, it. Okay. Is. Is. Phone number it's. is. My phone number is. Is. Very good. Thank you. Very good. Okay. Nice. Okay, just give me a second, guys. Give me a second.
Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I was just solving something right here. Well, it continue, right? What is your phone number? And let's go with one more classmate, right? Because, you know, we need to advance to the next activity. What's your phone number? Can you help me? Then what? What's your phone number? Uh, my phone number is 7273-1231. Yes, very good. Okay. okay, listen, because of the time, we're going to move on to the next activity, right? But I would like you, please, to send, you know, in the chat by your phone number. Thank you, Mayra. You can see your phone number there. Lisa, me escucha? This is it, teacher, yeah. Okay, okay. Perfect, perfect. Well, uh, I would like you to please share the, the answers in the chat, right? In the chat, I mean, tell us your phone number over there, right? My phone number is, quiero que compartan su, su número de teléfono, verdad, en, en el chat, verdad? Por el momento, lo vamos a ir a la siguiente parte, okay? This is about numbers. Any questions about numbers? Any questions? Preguntas? No, no. No, okay. Eh, una pregunta, teacher. Yes. Si vamos a mandar el número, ¿quiere que se lo pongamos así en palabras, el número o de un solo el número? No, yeah, the number. It's okay. a number. It's okay, no worries. Thank you. Well, let's go with the adjectives. Let's go with adjectives. Okay, let's start. Deme un segundito, perdón. Solo estoy solucionando algo por acá. Disculpe. Un segundito. Hola, chicos. En el chat. Eh, yo había mandado el número, pero no era porque era mi número, sino para activar el Ethereum. O sea, ustedes dicen el número y nosotros sabemos qué número es anotándolo. Por ejemplo, my cell phone number is 6449-53318. Anotarlo para corroborar si era ese, solo para como practicar el Ethereum. Oh, ok. That's nice. Thank you, thank you for sharing. It's okay, it's okay, no worries. That's a good, you know, practice, right? That's a good practice. I like it. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. I can see your phone numbers in the chat, right? Thank you, thank you. Okay, now let's go with the adjectives. An adjective, an adjective, guys, it, it's a word that describes a noun or a pronoun, such as a person, a place, you know, uh, or an idea, right? An idea. That's an adjective, right? It's a word that describes a noun or a pronoun, right? Such as a person, place, thing, or idea. Okay? That is an adjective. Any questions? Perdón, no le entendí esa parte. Okay, an adjective is a word that describes a noun or a pronoun such as person, place, thing, or idea, right? For example, we can say, right, a happy, well, I would say a tall person, right? A tall person. So we're describing the noun in this case, and now is person. That is a noun, right? A tall person, right? We're talking about the height, the altura, right? Tall person. That is an adjective. An adjective is a word that describes a noun or a pronoun such as person, place, thing, or idea. Okay? Very good. Questions? We have the following adjectives, look. Okay, continue. 
We had the following additives, look. We had the following additives. Tall, we have tall, right? And short, tall, short, tall, short, right? Then we have white, right? White, white, and we have talkative, talkative, talkative. White, 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 and talkative, right? Talkative. When someone likes to speak, right? Likes to speak, talkative. Then we have Hamson, right? Hamson, talking about, you know, the appearance, right? The physical appearance. Hamson, Hamson, that's for, you know, for men specifically, right? Hamson, we use Hamson for men. And for women, you know, we can use, oops, oops, guys, please. Hamson, right? That's for, for men. For one, for women, we use, right? Pretty, right? Pretty, we can use beautiful, right? Beautiful, pretty, pretty, right? Hamson, pretty. Hamson, pretty. Right? Then we have, look at the, the woman. Good looking, right? Good looking. We can see that the woman, right, is wearing good clothes, right? Good clothes. We can see makeup, right? The, the hair, right? So good. So it's good looking. Good looking, right? Good looking. She is good looking. Good looking. Friendly, right? Friendly. When someone, you know, likes making friends, making friends. So that person is friendly. Friendly. Friendly, right? Good looking, good looking, friendly. Good looking, friendly. Heavy, all right, now let's talk about complexity. Complexity, right? Heavy, heavy. All right, now look at the picture, look at the man. Thin, right? Thin, that is the opposite, thin. Heavy. Heavy, right? Thin. Thin, right? Serious, right? Serious. 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 Look at the, uh, the, the actor, right? Oh, funny. Funny, right? Funny. Serious. Serious. Funny. Funny. And we have shy. Shy, right? These are adjectives. These are adjectives. And they help us to describe a noun or a pronoun, right? That noun or pronoun can be a person, a place, an animal, a thing, or an idea, right? Describimos sustantivos, pronombres. That is a way, that is a way. Any questions about the adjectives? ¿Cuál sería, okay. teacher, un ejemplo en cosas con los adjetivos? Oh, okay, you can say, for example, let me see. Slow, my car is slow. Okay, yeah, that's a good example. That's not an adjective, right? My car is slow. My car is slow, right? That's with a, with a thing, right? A car. A slow is an adjective, yes. Another example can be, right? Uh, the pencil, the pencil is short. Short, right? Short. The pencil is short. Short, right? But then we don't say, right, if the pencil is like this, right? We don't say like this, right? If it is like this, we don't say tall, right? We say long. The pencil is long, right? That is the opposite. It's longer. 
long, right? Long. We don't say tall, right? That is for height, for height. Or we can, we can use short, or we can use small, right? For things, that is the way. You know, we can continue, right? We can say, we can give more examples. We can say, Jim Carrey uh, is funny. I mean, he's funny. So we're describing, you know, funny is describing the now, which is Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, right? Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. Okay. That is the way. We can describe nouns and pronouns. And those nouns or pronouns, you know, can be people, faces, fans, or ideas. Okay. Questions? My mother is short. All is short, right? No, no. My father is serious. Right, my father is serious. Questions, by the way, questions? Teacher, una pregunta. Yep. Para decir, o sea, para hacer como una oración y describir totalmente la persona, cómo se va. Digamos, mi amiga es bonita, alta. Oh, okay. My friend. Beautiful, you, you, beautiful girl. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yes. Uh, completa. You, the beautiful girl. 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 Yes, yes, a beautiful girl, right? A beautiful girl. And when you want to describe, that, that's, that's, a, that's a way, right? That's a good way, you know? That is a beautiful girl, right? I'm sorry. You can you can combine you can combine adjectives, right? You can combine adjectives, and you can say, right? My friend is pretty or beautiful, right? As Carlos said, and tall, right? We can combine. My friend is pretty and tall. Mi amiga verdad es bonita y y alta. Into mind. If you want to add, you know, three adjectives, for example, you can say, well, my friend is pretty, uh, we can say tall, and um, we can say uh, talkative, right? Talkative. So we have three adjectives, right? We can use three, four, five adjectives, right, in a sentence. Vamos a utilizar uno, dos, tres, cuatro, los que decíamos, ¿verdad? Tío, que decíamos en una oración. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Um, Joker is an adjective. Joker. Joker. Yes. Mm. But Joker is, is more like, like a noun. Like a noun. Joker. Let me see. Yeah, because we refer to the... The person, right? The person. Joker. It's a noun. Mm, it's a noun, yeah. The Joker, right? Like the character from the movie. Joker. The Joker is... What? Crazy, right? Crazy. I think I, I, think I got your idea, right? I got your idea like, uh, you know, funny, right? Funny. It can be right, funny, or you know, another way it can be like humorous, right? You can say humorous, maybe humorous, humorous. Humorous, like this. Creo que entiendo su punto, ¿verdad? Como decir chistoso, ¿verdad? Exactly. It can be humorous, humorous. Humorous. Humorous, yeah. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, any questions? Uh, Jennifer, I don't know if, if I answered your question, Jennifer Torres. Yeah, good. thank you. Yeah, okay, very good. Fields. We can describe, you know, we can describe people, things, places, animals. Uh, Jonathan, did I answer your question previously? Yo 
Jonathan. Perdón. Eh, sí, la aclaró. Solo eh, nada más me queda como la inquietud si eso, eh, los adjetivos eh, serían como cualquier tipo de descripción eh, como que le podríamos dar a las cosas. Por ejemplo, eh, entraría como un adjetivo que yo diga eh, the, the house is green. Eh, green yeah. entraría como un adjetivo, decir que es verde. Yes, colors, colors are adjectives. Colors okay. are adjectives. You can say the house is green. <clears throat> exactly. And you can say, right, and uh, beautiful, and big. Right? beautiful. And big, okay, big, and big, and big. Igual si fuera grande o pequeña, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, exactly. <clears throat> The house is green and big, and, and big sorry. Big. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, colors are adjectives, right? Red, green, uh, brown, black, white. They are adjectives. Yes. Very nice. Well, listen, if we're going to practice, and because of the time, you know, what I want to do, well, we have this example, right? I am told, right? I can say I am told. In my case, I am told. I am told, right? Um, I am not sure, right? You know, practicing with the verb be. I am told. I am not sure. I am not sure, or I'm not sure, right? With the woman, right? We can say my mother is pretty, is very pretty, right? Mother is very pretty, pretty. pretty right? My mother is very pretty. I can say, but you know, my friend is my friend John, right? Is funny. My friend John is funny. Right? That is a way we describe people, right? Describe people. You know, we can describe places, things, animals, right? If you describe a place, it can be right. Tunkovich is beautiful, right? For example, right? Tunkovich is beautiful. Uh, another example, right? Can be. My sister Jane is good looking. You know, my my sister Jane is good looking means that she always wears, you know, so good. She uh, wears good clothes. Good clothes. Uh, she, you know, put on she puts on makeup, right? Uh, Etc. Good looking. Sister Jane is good looking. All right. So any questions? No, teacher, question. No, okay. No question, coach. No question. No, okay. Car Carlos, sorry, I don't know if you have a question. No, sorry, no. Good look is, uh, good look is, buena, eh, es buena suerte. Good looking, no. Good looking, good looking, or good, or good looking. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck is buena suerte, right? Good luck. Okay. Good looking is different, right? So you can see someone, right? That if that person is always wearing good clothes, right? Good clothes, uh, you know, uh, we can see, right? For example, if, if there's a woman, right? That the woman puts on her makeup, he, for her, right? is so nice, etc. right? That is good looking. Cuando alguien, verdad, se viste muy bien, su apariencia, verdad, es de mirar, verdad, de mirar. En el caso de una mujer, ¿verdad? Utiliza maquillaje, ¿verdad? Se maquilla siempre, eh, etc. Dos detalles, entonces es good looking. Good looking. Okay. ¿Any questions? The teacher. Yeah. The adjective very full is only for women. Most of the times, yeah, we use it for a woman. For a woman. Beautiful, yeah. Yes. Jose, you, 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 you can say, I am medium. Yeah, medium is good. It's another adjective, right? Talking about height. But we say height. Jose, height. A medium height. La altura, ¿verdad? A medium height. That is it, the way. That's correct. Teacher, una pregunta. Yeah. En, 
En las guías yo vi que para referirse a una persona pequeña se usaba short y también a, a little, little, no, no sé cómo. A little girl. Pero habían como, ajá, entonces son lo mismo. Cuando se dice, a, por ejemplo, a little person o a short person, es a lo mismo. A a little, a little, a little, when you say a little girl, you're referring to a, a, a person, right? That, for example, here, well, if it's a girl, right? This, this girl is, let's say, five, you know, five years old, seven years old. So most of the times we uh, associate this for, with age, little girl. And when you say a short girl, you're referring to, you know, the height, the satura, height. That's the difference. A little girl it refers to you know age. Right? The, 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 the girl is five, seven, eight, four years old, right? It's a little girl. Now short girl refers to the high right. Height. Sí. Y también entraría como un adjetivo, entonces decirlo, aunque sea a little, yeah. la edad. Yes, mm -hmm. a little. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Well, guys, listen, because of the time. Uh, we will do something. We will try to practice with the conversation. Um, let me see. I think I'm, I'm going to send the, the, the conversation in the chat, right? And we will try to practice this next week because it's, it's time. But I want to assign you a homework, an extra homework. Extra homework. I need you to write, listen, in your notebooks, write at least. 10 sentences okay, using adjectives, right? For describing, for describing people, places, things, animals, etc. Okay? I need to write 10 sentences using adjectives for describing people, places, things, and animals. Please follow the examples, follow the examples, and you know, use the adjectives. Quiero que sigamos los ejemplos, ¿verdad? Ejemplos que les compartí. Y los adjetivos, ¿verdad? Si desean agregar otros adjetivos, excelente, no hay ningún problema. La idea es que eh, practiquemos con los adjetivos, ¿verdad? Y vemos oraciones. Diez oraciones. Um, well, you can send your examples in the chat, right? In the WhatsApp verb, right? So we can verify. Podemos enviar los ejercicios, ¿verdad? Eh, al grupo de WhatsApp, si gustan, ¿verdad? Pueden enviar, ya sea captura, foto, o si quieren enviar, ¿verdad? Directamente los, eh, el texto, lo pueden hacer. ¿Ok? ¿Questions? Ok. ¿Any questions? No. No questions. No. No question, teacher. Ok. Perfecto. Bueno, vamos a quedar hasta acá por el tiempo. Eh, quiero que, ¿verdad? Si no hemos completado, pero tenemos antes la dos, ¿verdad? Pero igual, si no han podido, ¿verdad? Hagan saber, no han podido completar la, la sección 3 y el examen, hagámoslo lo antes posible. Eh, y nos veríamos hasta el próximo lunes, ¿verdad? Finish with the second week. Well, guys, uh, thank you. Thank you for being here during this week. Uh, I will see you next Monday. Have a nice, you know, and happy weekend. Enjoy it. Take some rest. And I'll see you all. Practice. Practice throughout your English. And I'll see you until next Monday. Goodbye. Thank you. Bless you. God bless you. Bye. 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 Bye.